Hi, I'm Elizabeth Durazio, and this is a great upcoming segment as we hear about the Claremont Opera House and the events for the whole family that are coming up throughout the winter and spring season. I'm joined by Sean Edward Roberts, and he's going to make sure that we don't miss any of the best shows. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Very busy season and something for everyone. Tell us what's coming up. Well, um, for instance, uh, the Claremont Opera House was able to purchase a projector through a grant that we received from the Claremont Savings Bank. Mm -hmm. And we're using that projector to be able to present uh, films for, for people in the community to be able to come out and see mm -hmm. uh, how The Grinch Stole Christmas and The Nightmare Before Christmas are going to be presented together on uh, December 17th at 6 p.m. That's classic. Yeah. Um, some of the other things going on, uh, there's a group called the Repertory Theatre Company located in Claremont and uh, they focus a lot on, on youth and some of the young adults in the area. Uh, I'm actually involved uh, acting in the snippets that they're doing, uh, which is a group of short scenes from classic TV shows mm -hmm. such as Cheers, Seinfeld, The Lucy Show, Beverly Hillbillies, um, and The Honeymooners, and Happy Days as well. And that's happening on January 6th at 7 p.m. Um, the elementary schools located in Claremont are putting on a, a little drama festival. They do this every year, um, and it's happening on February 11th, and they're gonna be putting on a Singing in the Rain, which should be a lot of fun. Um, the Claremont Opera House is bringing back Claremont's Got Talent. Nice. <laughs> um, this will be the third time that it's ever happened. It's, it's a non-competitive talent show. So just everybody who's coming to take part um, is just performing and enjoying the, the celebration of it, not as much any type of winning. Mm -hmm. um, and that'll be happening uh, February 18th, and they can contact um, the Claremont Opera House about becoming involved in it uh, through an audition. Um, and also in March, March 3rd and 4th, uh, I'll be directing a show myself mm -hmm. called Through Kern's Eyes. Uh, it's an original piece that I wrote a couple of years ago and I've been revising and improving it over the years. And uh, it, it deals with a lot of issues that are close to my heart, such as environmentalism and religious persecution, things like that, but done in a fantastical way mm -hmm. for uh, all families to be able to enjoy and interpret for their own. Very nice. And really the theater is the opportunity to experience any of these things, whether like you said, it's something a bit, you know, we can watch a beautiful classic movie. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the grants that make this possible for you to have the equipment to do that, or whether it's a new piece that you're even writing yourself, taking from start to finish. Um, but this isn't possible without the grants and the people that help you out. Tell us some of the people that make the Claremont Opera House just possible for us to attend. Well, uh, to our grantors, such as the New Hampshire State Council of the Arts mm -hmm. um, and the Claremont Savings Bank, which, as I said, gave us a grant to be able to get a new projector and also a brand new digital soundboard. And these are big projects that take care of big things, but everyday memberships keep you guys going. Right. Um, us purchasing tickets keep you going, but advertising. You need local businesses to buy places and the playbills and things like that. Yes. Um, yeah, to all of our friends, our members, advertisers, and just anybody wishing to come out and just see a show, like thank you to them as well. Well, we appreciate the Claremont Opera House, not only just the wonderful facilities, but the people that make this a wonderful fixture in our community. Make sure you check out their website, and if you're a local business or a nonprofit that's willing to grant and help out, make sure you do that. It's a great way to give back to the arts in our community.